Yeah, I like yeah, that. I like it a lot. Welcome back to the tour, everyone. Thanks for joining us uh, for another lovely episode. Yeah. Got my two buds here. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Uh huh. Let's get going. Shipyard Brewing Company, Melonhead, 4.4% alcohol by volume. Brewed and bottled by Shipyard Brewing Company, LLC, Portland, Maine. All right. That's really all we need to know, it looks like. It's a uh, melon, uh, a watermelon, uh, I don't know if it's a can, it's a lager yeah, or what? Watermelon uh, ale, before. ale, watermelon ale. Wasn't there some sort of canned watermelon beer we got yes. from? Um, what yeah, is that? Hell or high watermelon. watermelon. Yeah, and wasn't yeah. it not that great? We have had Shipyard Pumpkinhead and weren't thrilled about it. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. It smells it. really sweet. It smells like a fucking Jolly Rancher. Over it there. smells like a, it smells like the watermelon Jolly Rancher. Yes. Mm -hmm. If it tastes like it, it smells it, really good. I'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm. You looking think this would be refreshing as fuck, being that looking it's refreshing. a watermelon beer? But <laughs> look, looking refreshing. It looks refreshing. It looks. It, it looks okay. like dark urine. So yeah. Yeah. That smells smells weird. It smells better than it tastes. I like it. It's not bad, but the smell is totally watermelon. The taste is a little um. I think the problem you're having. Oh, okay. With Hang it, on. Now the aftertaste is watermelon. The problem you're having with it is it tastes kind of like they took a real watermelon and squeezed it in there. So you're expecting like candy Jolly Rancher well, watermelon. Not a little bit maybe, but I think mostly it's that the beer itself is it's super light. And it's yeah. almost it, like when you when you first could you do it, a heavy watermelon beer? You right. could. No, you could. You're right. Don't you're you're right. You could. Somebody could. Ugh. Mm. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's watermelon, watermelon in its nature is like it's would all you, water. Would, yeah, you, exactly. would you think that somebody could do a lemon pumpkin shandy that tastes like Coca Cola and be effective? Well, Come so on. here's the thing: you add you're pumpkin right. to anything, and it, you can make it at least unique. Like pumpkin, I feel like is more versatile. It's more the watermelon porter isn't going over. Exactly. No, you can be dark beer, like, but like you can do like, like a, a cherry, cherry one because cherry's a heavy yeah. dark. You could do you could do yeah. a heavy lager. You could make it taste more pumpkin, more robust, and it it would work. Like a you could make it almost taste like just an alcoholic watermelon soda, like a like a malt beverage type of water. Because who is it like? Sure, a, if you're gonna do four loco, four loco probably makes a watermelon. Okay, they do. We were second uh, yeah. se second That's taste. Right. Second See? taste, I like better. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not um, bad. I like the smell of refreshing. There's nothing off-putting about it at all. It's, um, I do believe it's probably a summertime beer, oh, specifically. Yeah, yeah. I believe so. Um, it's not bad. Yeah, I can see summertime liking this. I'm going to give it a 7.0. I, I think it's good. Um, I, I'm a little bit torn on the rating on this, as really, I think, I think most ratings were all a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless it's blatantly awful or exceptionally good, it's sort of hard because it's like... It does what it says it does fairly well. But on the same note, I don't want to give it a super high rating because mm -hmm. I don't think it's that fantastic either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think 7 is the rating I'm going to give this just because I get what you're putting it out is there. good and it is what it says that it does. The it's just not... Very good. It's good. It's good. It's a 7 point I That's a high rating. It's good. It's good at what it... Fair enough. It's good at doing what it claims to be doing. I think one of the problems is... I think they had a pretty cool, unique watermelon taste infused in it somehow, but I would I would have to think that the ale that they added it to is probably not that great of an ale. To probably not, with. but that's probably almost on purpose because you do want the watermelon to shine through, and if you have an ale right. that's strong well, flavor, you, you could have like a light flavor ale that's just not off putting. I think they just started with kind of a crappy. I don't mean crappy as in not flavorful. I just mean crappy as in not the cleanest taste because there's some kind of. Like you get the watermelon, but there's also kind of like a little a bit not, of an off not bitterness. Clean a taste little bit of an off bitterness. I like maybe they that. stuck the rind in there or something. But then again, that kind of comes from. I mean, ales are at their nature bitter. I mean, so it's sort of a weird flavor contrast between ale and watermelon. Watermelon at, at its core is sweet. It's, it's like too. It's too light yeah. tasting. I still things. think that it's blended fairly well together. It's yeah, decent. I like it. I don't know if I'd have another. I could have like three of them. I maybe. could drink a bunch. Yeah. Of these? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like if there's other things available. Well, you're talking about... Depends on the day. Like, we're sitting outside and it's real hot. Oh, it, when we, when we were just at the beach, if we were on the beach. Yeah, sure. You know, I could go to the beach. You know what you do. You go in because, you know, you guys are in Virginia, so you know this. You go to, you go to King George, you go to that other bridge. 
and they got, you know, the alcohol in the 7 Elevens. And you know what else they have in the 7 Elevens? the Slurpees you see. What beach are we going to? Uh, King Clone George. Who goes to King George for anything? I, I what is King George? <laughs> I live like five minutes away from, or 10, 15 minutes away from that bridge. It makes sense. There's a beach right down so there. So you go into Virginia or in that's the big city in the plane? <laughs> so wait, you're that when you go into the, the city? To that bridge? I'm like, yeah, I'm like 15 minutes away from that bridge, dude. Oh, I'm boy. down there. It took me a while to get here. But anyway, they have the Slurpees, so what you do is uh, you go and look what flavor Slurpees they have. Because the beach, you know, it's hot as balls because yeah. it's the beach. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the little cooler thing yeah, and you see... That like awful. God damn. I had uh, Old Bay Wings before. <laughs> um, I'm from Maryland. God but damn. Then you go and you see what flavors and malt beverage they have. And then you line two of them up. Like they got like... You, they have a watermelon Slurpee. You get like the watermelon oh, Four sure. Loco. Yeah. And then you take it to the beach and you pour right. it in there. Right. It'll stay cold the whole time you're there. And it'll get you messed mean. up on the beach. That's, That's right. That's amazing. That's what I do on the beach. That's right. Let's get some... I, have, I have done... Watermelon Slurpee, yes. cooked watermelon vodka in yes. it. They do watermelon sugar-free. The sugar-free watermelon you did that, Slurpee. You did that the day we did the um, your uh, album release. Yes, I did. I remember that. No, oh, see, I love that shit. It vodka might even be a better deal, but all they had there, see, I didn't take stuff with me, I just had to go with the, you just yeah, find I it. Had, I had Burnett's Watermelon. Yeah. Put that in see, there. what I do is I usually just find Fellas, the highest some ABV malt liquor you can mm. find. I'm sure that works. Yeah, sure let's that get works. some raisins. Let's get some raisins. Um, I, I'm gonna give it. I like this. My big boy. Quite a bit. I'm gonna give this a, a pretty good endorsement here. Seven and a half. Okay. Fair I enough. I think you yeah. should try it if it sounds decent. Agree. To you. I agree with that. I agree with that final statement there. Unlike the uh, the last one, the the pumpkin one. I like this one with the first sip. As I got down to the bottom of the cup, there's just some weird aftertaste I'm not liking. It, it's it's weird. I don't know if I can high weight just because it's weird and unique. Probably not. Um, mm, hold on. You say high weighting. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I give it a high weighting. <laughs> I can give it a high weighting. <laughs> I like I like Randy and Hundy. <laughs> um, that was a good one. <laughs> I I don't know five. I can't figure it out. Five. Oh, I can't figure this one out. That is really silly. Bad aftertaste. That something weird. The There's it's got some good things going for it and some bad things going for it. I would like to taste more of it before I make a final decision, but we don't have more of it, so I'm going in the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, the Taste Tour Shipyard Brewing Company Melonhead 4.4% alcohol by volume. It's got a decent weight. We will return. <laughs> the decent weighting would be a 7.5, a 7.0, and a 5, which disregard him. That's it's about a couple seven. lower than yours. That's it, not that bad. Basically, in summary, if it sounds like it might be good to you, you like watermelon, you like beer or ales or anything, check it out. Taste Tour will return. Keep clicking. Thanks for joining us.